guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you what's on my Samsung Galaxy S6. This is the very first page where I just have the time, date and weather at the very top. Then right under that I have four countdown widgets here, here, here and here. And they're pretty much just my four exams for when they are. Very first thing I have here is my email, telephone, text messages, my school app, Facebook, Messenger, Snapchat, and my to-do list app. Then I have settings, then I have my Play Shop, I do not know what that's called in English. Then I have Google Chrome, and then where all my apps are. I'd also just like to show you on the next page, I have my Google Calendar, as I use that a lot, it just needs to be there for me. As you can see, I haven't had the busiest month, but that is purely because I've been studying for my exams. I had my first one today actually, so I'm very grateful that that is over. Anyways, let's get into all my apps. On the very first folder, I just have the basic things that come with the phone of contact ways, and that is my email, text messages, telephone, and my contacts. Next folder is my education, where I have my calculator, a converter app, a dictionary, a translator, and my school app. The next folder is fitness, where I have three apps. The first one comes with my phone and it's called S Health. I do not use it. And the next one I have is the 30 day fitness challenge, which is so good, I'll show you it. It's pretty much just a whole heap of challenges and you can choose which ones you want to do. And then there's the 30 days where you have to do a certain amount of things and then you tick them off once you've done it. I've done the first month of every single type of challenge. I'm yet to do beginner level two, intermediate level one, and so on and so on for all of the challenges, but I'm looking forward to that. And another thing I really like about this app is it shows you how you do all of the workouts. So that's really awesome. And the last step in fitness is the 10 daily yoga poses. It's really good. It shows you how you should do your poses and for how long. The next folder is money. And there I just have my Danish bank account, mobile pay, which is a way of sending money to friends and family easily in Denmark. And the next one is eBox, which is just government pay payments you get every now and then in Denmark. PayPal, everyone knows that. AdSense, that's where I can see how much I'm earning from ads on my blog. And then NAB is my Australian bank account. Under Organize, I have To Do Ist, and it is the most awesome app ever. I love it, I use it daily. It's in Danish, but here is the inbox where you just have your general to-do list things. And right now I only have one thing and that is that I need to reboot my computer back to standard settings because I feel like I have a whole bunch of school crap on which I will not need the next year. And then you can have some little projects with a whole bunch of other things that you choose. And I just have some folders for the subjects. I have exams on very soon, so I remember to do certain things for that. And then I have my YouTube one with some things I have to do. It's really good and organized and I love it. Another thing is every time you check something off, you get some points and that just kind of shows you on a scale where you're at on completing things and how active you are. The next thing I have is Day Counter, which is those little widgets I showed you on the front of my screen here. And then the very last thing is my Google Calendar, which I also showed you on my start screen. Under photography, I just have where all my videos are, my camera for taking photos, and where all my photos are. And then this app here is just called Olympus Share, and it's just so I can connect my Olympus camera to my phone. Haven't used it yet, but I am yet to do that. The next one is my social media folder. And as you can see, I am not on very many social media platforms, but I have Facebook, Tumblr, Snapchat, and Skype, all used very, very much. Under sound, I have Podbean, which is all the podcasts I listen to, which I am totally obsessed with. I love listening to podcasts. Then I have Spotify, which I'm sure you all know. I love that. 
Then S Voice is just a recording platform that comes with the phone. And then music is just where all my music on my phone is stored, although I do not have any and I do not use it. I purely use Spotify. Then the next I have is travel. And the first three apps aren't relevant to you unless you live in Denmark. It's pretty much just the train times and the bus times. And then the app in the middle is just an account to see how much money I have on my bus card. The next one is Google Maps, which is very handy. And then the last app is a weather app, which I really like. It's very simple. As you can see, it's 23 degrees here today where I live, a little bit cloudy. And then it just shows the temperature throughout the entire day. I really like it. Then we come to utilities, which just has a whole bunch of stuff that comes on my phone and majority of it I do not use, though I do love smart manager and my alarm clocks, of course. I'll just show you. I have one for when I wake up at 6.30. Sometimes I change it to 5, 5.30, 7. It depends on the week and what I have planned. And then I have an alarm to remind me when to upload my YouTube videos, which if you did not know, it is every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. <laughs> and for those of you who have an Android, I recommend getting AirDroid. It's really good if you want to transfer or download things from or to your phone from your computer without any cords. So that's super easy and nice. And then my final folder is YouTube, of course. I have Gmail in there because that's only for my YouTube account. Then I have the YouTube app, of course. And then this one here is a creative studio for YouTubers. And I really like it because you can see the latest comments and the likes and the dislikes and the views and all that kind of stuff. It's really handy just to get an idea of where you are in your videos. I just kind of look at it to see my comments and reply to comments. So. Yep, that's an awesome app. Then I have a subscribe account app, and that's just to keep track of how many subscribers I have, which is really cool and easy. And then the last app is an AZ screen recorder, which I'm using right now to record my phone screen. So that was it on my phone. I hope you liked it and you got some apps that you wanted to try. Let me know in the description below if there was any other apps I should be trying out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you really soon. Bye.